what, what, what? And the test was positive and I was pregnant. Remember those heartbreaking moments when your favorite childhood shows got canceled? We're letting you in on the secret reasons these Nickelodeon shows left our screens. The brains behind many Nickelodeon shows, Dan Schneider, claims that they're wrapped up after an average of three seasons because the audience has a short attention span, but we beg to differ. Discover the feuds, the scandals, and the life-changing events that took these shows from us too early. It's not as easy as it looks. It took a lot of training for us to get to this point. It was a devastating moment when Nickelodeon announced Victorious was ending in 2013. Ariana Grande, Victoria Justice, and their co-stars have been entertaining us since 2010 through four seasons. Who are you pretending to text? My brother. Can I pretend to text him? <laughs> and Ariana and Victoria were at the heart of the controversy over the show's early demise. Ariana was involved in the spin-off show Sam and Cat, so it made sense that fans blamed her for the cancellation. But Ariana was so annoyed about the rumors that she revealed her side of the story. The singer claimed that one girl chose to do a solo tour instead of a cast tour, and Ariana was convinced that if they had done a cast tour, Nickelodeon would have ordered another season of Victorious while Sam and Cat filmed simultaneously. Although Ariana didn't name anyone, fingers pointed towards Victoria, and that resulted in a feud between the co-stars. You just punched me in the face! You said to. Victoria threw shade back at Ariana. In a tweet that's since been deleted, Victoria wrote that some people would throw someone that they consider a friend under the bus just to make themselves look good. She added a hashtag saying, stop being a phony. Ariana tweeted back saying, you just can't hide from the truth. They did make up eventually though. Phew! I am not a Nickelodeon executive. I have absolutely no power over whether or not the show continued on. iCarly ran for longer than many Nickelodeon shows, airing from 2007 to 2012. There were so many amazing highlights, like all those guest stars. Remember Michelle Obama in One Direction? Amazing. But after seven seasons, the show ended. It was still getting good ratings, so why did it stop? Hit people don't say hip. Fine, I'm down, I'm cool, I'm jiggly. It's likely down to the fact that the show's star, Miranda Cosgrove, was going to college. She was ready for the next chapter in her life, and that involved furthering her education rather than furthering the plot lines on iCarly. It's not surprising Miranda went down that route. Did you know that she was a straight-A student? She did manage to combine her love of education and her love of acting, though, by studying the cinematic arts at USC. Does this look cute? Yeah, maybe a little too cute. <laughs> the actress revealed that she went right to college after filming stopped. Although fans had to say goodbye to Miranda. But I've met a lot of people there, and I just went to my first football game, USC football game. They could still watch her co-star, Jeanette McCurdy, on Nickelodeon. Jeanette was back on our screens in the spinoff, Sam and Cat, But that didn't end on a positive note. If she gets stuck in a toilet again, will you please text me a pic of that? Sam and Cat debuted to huge viewing figures in June 2013, and after just four episodes, it earned a massive 40 episode season one order. It's not surprising, given that it was a spin off of two hugely popular shows, Victorious and iCarly. Jeanette McCurdy and Ariana Grande played roommates who started a babysitting service, but the show was cancelled in July 2014. Ariana wrote a long message on her socials, expressing her gratitude to the creator and crew, but she never mentioned Jeanette be a special surprise in there for you. So it's no wonder there were rumors of tension between the co-stars. That was cited as a potential reason for the show's demise. There was also a lot of chatter that it was Jeanette's revealing photos, which leaked online that March that were to blame. Jeanette took to Twitter to explain that she didn't turn up to the Kids' Choice Awards because she was put in an uncomfortable, compromising, unfair situation. I guess I really connected with the character because she's Sort of, she's like rebellious and rough. And that prompted rumors that the actress wasn't happy with Nickelodeon about a reported pay disparity between her and Ariana. She also explained on Reddit why she left the network, saying she didn't want to be a role model and was annoyed by how the bubblegum industry tried to erase her imperfections. Lots of drama there then. We'll just come back and break in after you leave. <laughs> I don't think so. Avatar The Last Airbender aired on Nickelodeon between 2005 and 2008. It was so successful, it had spin-off comics, manga, animated sequel series, and a live-action movie. And it was that movie that spelled the end for the animated TV series. So you could say it was a victim of its own success. After three seasons, a fourth season was being planned, but that was shelved because of the live-action adaptation. 
The show's former head writer, Aaron Iaz, let us all in on the secret with a Twitter post on April 1st, 2019. Given the date, he reassured fans that the reveal was not an April Fool's. He explained that he always intended for Azula to have a redemption arc, and he added that there was a moment in time when they all thought they would do a fourth season. However, along came M. Night Shyamalan. No matter how things may seem to change, never forget who you are. The show's executive producers wanted to focus on the now infamous live action project, and the 2010 movie got panned by audiences and critics. The creators are going on to make a live action remake of the show for Netflix, at least. Thanks for bringing Aqua to me. The Fire Nation is up to something. I have to go back now. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide originally ran on Nickelodeon for three seasons, from 2004 to 2007. The single cam comedy followed three best friends through middle school, and fans got excited in February 2020 when rumors swirled about a potential reboot. Devin Workizer, Lindsay Shaw, and Daniel Curtis Lee shared photos of their reunion on social, and they teased fans with the possibility of creating with each other again. Cookie, can I have your autograph? Is it true that you hang glided into school today, landed on Sweeney and crushed him? A couple of weeks later, Devin gave an interview about the show. When asked why it was cancelled, he explained that it would have had to have been a whole new show, given that they'd be moving on to high school, and Nickelodeon passed on it. Devin revealed that he thinks the network was foolish for not taking the show into the high school years. They'd done over 50 episodes, and it was a blast, so Devin said there was a sadness, it was over. But he also felt an initial excitement about what's next. However, he couldn't catch a break with the next phase of his career, so he got an acting coach and went to classes for years. Fans of it um, are so loving even now, like 10 years later. We've already seen how education can be a reason for a show to end, and like iCarly, education was at the heart of why the Naked Brothers Band starring Nat and Alex Wolf got cancelled. The mockumentary ran for three seasons. Nat explained that it ended after his family and Nickelodeon disagreed on the future of the series. He revealed that the network wanted them to do a couple of movies, but the boys didn't really want to do that, and Nick also wanted them to do 60 episodes during the school year. However, their parents wanted them to go to school, so that meant the TV show was off the table too. The end of the movie Spoiler just alert. didn't happen where I found out about it. So that, I think that was the main inspiration, that there's some secret of it. That's because, according to Nat, the network didn't want to keep doing what they'd been doing. How did Nat feel about the end of the show? He reveals that he was super bummed. However, in retrospect, he was really glad it happened. That's because he realized he was on the edge of getting burned out. By the third season, he was really taking it seriously, so it all worked out for the best. One of those moments when you, when you start to get hurt and then everything goes into slow motion and my hand just went through the fence. Tyena was one of the first Latina-led shows on TV, airing on Nickelodeon from 2001 to 2002. The show was about the eponymous Puerto Rican teenager and her dream of becoming a famous singer and actor. It performed well with solid ratings, but it was canned after just two seasons. Reports claimed the show was cancelled because it only appealed to girls, but Josh Cruz, who played Tyena's father, claimed that increasing production costs played a part. The actress who played the part, Christina Vidal, revealed that the team had already written season 3, and the show creator, Maria Perez Brown, explained her take on why it all went south. She explained there were talent issues, and the show stopped because there were business deals that were signed that were not part of the plan. She also revealed that they planned a three-part movie, so the team behind the show was just as surprised as the audience when it was cancelled. But the creator revealed in 2019 that there could be a reboot with the original cast as adults, appealing to the nostalgia audience and also with their own kids. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. We need hope. We need to share with each other the hope that's in our lives. We're going further back into the Nickelodeon archives with Clarissa Explains It All. Melissa Joan Hart starred as the eponymous character for 65 episodes. Although it originally aired from 1991 to 1994, you might have caught the show when it started reruns from 2011. It took a long time to work on each episode. How long? About a total of 70 hours, over six days. That's quite the time-consuming show to produce, right? It spawned an album and even a board game. So it's clear just how popular it was. Got lots of fun stuff for you to play with. Power tools? No. That's why it was surprising that it got canceled midway through its fourth season. 
Show creator Mitchell Kriegman revealed that Nickelodeon cancelled it because they had a rigid idea about age limits. They believed that the main character, aged nearly 17, had gotten too old for the network's audience. Kriegman said that back in those days, Nickelodeon stopped at 14, and MTV started at 15 or 16. Although execs felt it was way too old for the network, the creator believed she could have kept going, and there wasn't really a reason to stop from any perspective. We agree. If you just sat there and watched a videotape, it would make Fergie really happy. Filming a show about girls being secret mermaids in Australia sounds like a challenge. The TV series aired on Nickelodeon from 2008 to 2009 and returned from 2011 to 2014. It was successful enough to spin off an animated series and a live action series, but it got cancelled after just three seasons. So why? Well, it sounds like production became too difficult to continue, and that's hardly surprising. The costumes were really hard to swim in, so it's no wonder some of the actresses lost interest. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, don't worry. It said that they wanted to take on more serious roles. In fact, Claire Holt left the show after just two seasons because she wanted to film Messengers 2, The Scarecrow. Years later, she reunited with her H2O co-star Phoebe Tonkin on CW's The Originals. You forgot one thing in your attempt to plead your case. Zoe 101, which ran from 2005 to 2008, was the most expensive series Nickelodeon made. And it was also one of the most successful shows on the network during that decade. So it was surprising it finished after just four seasons. Good, because there's something I gotta talk to you about. Oh yeah? What's that? Jamie Lynn Spears announced her shock pregnancy at the age of 16 in December 2007, and then the show's cancellation was announced in January 2008. Of course fans put two and two together, but in 2019, Jamie Lynn posted on Instagram that Zoe 101 did not end because of the pregnancy, but because her contract had ended. Jamie Lynn reunited with many of her former co-stars on the sketch show All That in 2019, and then she revealed in May 2020 that she's in talks with Nickelodeon to develop a reboot of the show. So watch this space. Which of these Nickelodeon shows do you miss the most? And which of the real reasons that they got cancelled shocked you the most? Be sure to subscribe to the things for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.